hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new i'm very happy to have you thanks for joining the alex Marie family and we're all here to learn this is a happy place so today we are going on about fabric on grain this is an odd topic in a weird way because i sewed for years and i never really thought about it I, it wasn't something that ever crossed my mind i knew about it somehow but it's just one of those things you can easily omit when you're sewing so i'm here to educate you about it and it's very very important first of all what is fabric on grain what does it mean for your fabric to be on grain if you remember in the previous video i explained that your basic woven fabric has weft threads and warp threads kind of like you weaving a basket there's two sets of threads are perpendicular to each other and overlap each other and form a weave and that's what forms your fabric. Why is it important in the first place? Why should you care? Why is it important to you? What does this have to do with you sewing? It's important because this is what affects the drape or fall of your outfits, your final garments. That's why the crease of your trouser legs are straight and fall down straight. That's why your sleeves don't twist on your arm and they fall down straight. That's why your skirt falls in a nice flow from your waist. It, that is what gives it the alignment. When the, the treads and the grains are straight the way they are supposed to be, your fabric falls nicely the way it's supposed to be. Otherwise, you have pant legs that are twisted, you have sleeves that are twisted, and no amount of ironing is going to solve that problem. Now, how do you get on grain? Uh, well, first you need to know if your fabric is off grain in the first place. It might not be, and it's not something you use just the visual print, especially if you're dealing with wax print or Ankara, because the print on wax prints and Ankara is just like a picture or a painting. It's just a print. It really has nothing to do with the threads. But in contrast, let me bring out this fabric. You have something like this. This is a flannel, and this is made by weaving different colored threads so these lines you're seeing are actually the threads and this type of fabric you can see whether it's skewed or off grain just by looking at it already because the lines will be straight or not straight because the threads are the pattern but on Ankara you can't use that method because the color or pattern you're seeing on it is simply just a picture or a print it has nothing to do with the threads and that's why you need this other way of knowing if your fabric is on grain first rule you need to create a straight edge. How do you create a straight edge? There are three ways I've found that work. They, I, I didn't invent these ways, but over time you figure them out. One is tearing. Most stiff woven fabrics can be torn and you get a straight grain. Two is pulling the threads out. When you're dealing with sheer fabrics or delicate fabrics, you can pull thread and then three is to do a scissor slash which i won't always recommend but it does work um uh, i do want to point out that getting the straight edge is really now about cutting your fabric straight so i'll start with the most basic method which is tearing here i have my fabric so a little bit of anchor what i'm going to do now you take your scissors and clip into the selvage i like to go a little past the selvage because the selvage is very tight and hard so i try to go a little past it into the fabric itself so when you do that you snip through it hold the two ends securely and pull give it a nice good pull and it should tear now i have encountered an car that doesn't tear that does happen but bear with me so you tear your fabric and this has created a straight edge you can now use an iron and just smoothen this out now I'm going to just pull a thread out and you can see the thread comes out all the way from this selvage to that selvage. So we've now created a natural straight edge. Now to, to determine if we are still on grain, we're going to fold over the fabric. Now I'm going to switch to this smaller swatch of fabric just to illustrate the fold over because I can't get my whole Ankara in focus in my camera right now but when you take your fabric this is the straight edge we've created this are the selvages what you do is fold your fabric over selvage to selvage and just shake it out don't try to force it to look straight or anything just shake it out fold it 
and it should line up nicely now if it's on grain you can see it will just fall naturally what you keep your eye on the selvage must be aligned your self selvage edges must be aligned and then whatever happens to the sides let it happen and that's how you know if you're on grain and the fabric itself should just be flat now this swatch i'm using is not on grain or off grain but i want to show you what it means if you're on grain everything should be straight and flat and at a 90 degrees angle your the edge that we created is straight the selvages are meeting they're straight the fabric itself is flat there are no wrinkles we are on grain and in the, if that is the case for you you don't have to do anything your fabric is ready for use now if you come up to a situation like this i'm just going to pull here where your selvages are lined up but the edge that we created the straight edge we created is off like this or skewed like this then you are definitely off grain now if you are off grain like this the there are two things to do if it's slightly off grain like this sometimes i find if you just use a steam iron and iron it a bit that will stretch out whatever is misaligned and your problem is solved but if it's a little more skewed it goes in quite a bit like an inch or an inch and a half what you do you take one of the edges usually like the shorter looking edge and then you take the opposite edge which now puts the whole fabric on the bias and then you pull sometimes you need help somebody else to help you pull the other side if the fabric is very long so you pull just you will feel it stretch a bit because we're now on the bias and that should give you help you align how much you pull depends on how off grain you are if it was just a little bit off don't pull so much just pull a little you feel the fabric stretch and then you're good to go now you just have to realign and test if i fold it over most likely it's probably on grain now and then you're done if it's still a bit of grain you can pull one more time or try the opposite edge flip it and give it a bit of a pull and then align it again this, um, because of the nature of Ankara, I'm going to give a bit of warning. Ankara, on average, most times we buy them 6 yards, 12 yards, 6 yards, 12 yards. What I've found is that maybe because of how it was cut or how it has been handled, the first yard or first two yards might seem a little off grain, but as you go further down the length, you find that it's actually perfectly straight on grain. So don't panic. I hardly ever tried to align 6 yards of fabric. Usually, if I'm making a blouse, I know I'm going to work with the two yards first. I cut off those two yards and I align that part. If I'm working with another three yards like that. So you, you shorten the length and you work in smaller portions. And you might find that it's not the whole bale or the whole length that you bought that is off grain. And another thing, I try not to be too finicky. You don't want to spend hours doing this. I want to get it as close to straight as possible. Some fabrics are very, very skewed, very skewed. I do the best that I can and when I work towards the side that is more on grain. I, you know, you really just try, but it does happen that there are some fabrics that are so hard to get on grain, I don't know what else to do. You just have to kind of manage and get it to a nice happy medium because that happens. So that's a bit of caution. So don't pull your hair out if sometimes you can't get something perfectly on grain. The other method I mentioned about, you know, straightening, creating a straight edge was pulling your threads this usually happens with me where i am using sheer fabric not even like chiffon or something that is those ones actually most times are always on grain but it's usually with lining fabric there's this they call it mdg in the market um usually they are 100 percent polyester they feel a bit papery but they're they have a bit of a shine and they're a bit sheer we use them for lining most times they're not very strong now one problem with this fabric it has very loose weave if you attempt to tear it like the ankara it will just keep on pulling and getting twisted it won't tear so in this situation i first find the edge that they actually cut in the market and then if you look closely you can see the threads sometimes i just pull the first thread i get my hand on see where it stops i might use my scissors to try and eyeball a straighter cut and then I now try and look for another thread in the middle. Just mostly I'm just trying to look for a thread that will most likely go all the way to the end. I look for one that is near the straight edge and I just pull. You just find one good thread and start pulling. 
till it comes out from the other end and sometimes I just pull out two threads and once you do that you can now see a gap and you can follow that gap with your scissors and cut it and you've created a straight edge so that's a technique because sometimes and it might even be the fashion fabric you're using that you need to create a straight edge it's not always just lining fabric so that's a way to deal with some very delicate fabric finally you can try the scissor slash i have the users but once in a while it might be the best thing for you i don't know if you've ever gone to the market to buy fabric you'll find that when they measure your yards for you they just take the scissors and slash through basically they're not even eyeballing it what's happening is that the scissors is just following the grain line all the way to the end so you find that the cut will be straight for this you actually need a very sharp scissors to start with and hopefully your material will be cooperative because i find it's not it doesn't always work and it's very hard to do when you're trying to aim right at the edge of your fabric this works best if you're actually just dividing your fabric into two large pieces and you can actually get away with it but most times if you're just trying to get this last one inch off and straighten that i wouldn't advise this method and it's something you should try on old fabric first just test it and see how it works for you it does always work for me and it's a bit risky but i just thought you know i should mention it because sometimes it might be the solution i'm sure there are other ways to block your fabric or straighten your fabric but these are the most basic ones and they generally work for me and i should emphasize the need to iron and press your fabric after all this pulling and skewing give it a press give it a stretch press it press it press it and use a lot of steam steam also helps to bend that fabric into submission just get it to cooperate it really helps to straighten out the threads so that's another thing you should try so that's all for fabric on grain today thank you for watching next week we're going to go into actual laying out of your patterns on your fabric we'll see you next week bye